Do you know when you see a blue budgie with a yellow face? This mutation is called yellow face type 1. Or yellow face type 2. Uh, um, or golden face. Oh wait, actually it could be single factor or double factor yellow face type 1. Type 2 or golden face. If you try to read about this mutation, it is very confusing. Is it dominant? Is it recessive? How many yellow and golden face mutations are there? What is the difference between each one of them? Can we always recognize it? How exactly can we breed it? What the heck is going on here? Let's start with why there is some confusion about these mutations. And let's try to avoid confusion as much as we can in order to explain this confusing but beautiful mutation. We have to go back to the basics of biology and genetics. Much confusion and misunderstanding have arisen because the popular names given to these mutations are misleading. These mutations do not generate a yellow face, as the names might suggest. Rather, the action of all these mutations is to reduce the yellow pigmentation, either entirely or to some degree. Had these mutations been named yellow less rather than yellow face, their action might have been more easily understood from the outset. You see, when we talked in the documentary about the green and blue budgies, how the green gene is dominant over the blue gene, we did say that green actually doesn't exist which basically means the blue gene, or what we did call BL with small b, is recessive to BL with capital B. We talked about how these affect the cytosine. The recessive BL gene prohibits it from working, thus we end up with blue budgies. Now, when we go and try to look at the DNA and see where the blue locus is situated, we will find that these yellow face genes are really close to the blue gene which means the two types yellow face and golden face are close enough to the blue gene that they are more likely to be inherited together. Which means they also work on removing the yellow pigmentation rather than adding a yellow pigmentation to the face. However, with that being said, let's not overcomplicate things and make it as simple as possible for us to understand these mutations. What we need to know about these mutations that they are very hard to recognize on green budgie, to the point where it is even impossible to distinguish. So for the sake of understanding these mutations, let's imagine as if they actually do make the face of the budgie yellow. Let's start with the easy stuff first. If we compare the single factor of these three mutations one next to the other, we will see that the single factor yellow face type 1 has only a yellow face, maybe slightly yellow on the tail feathers as well. Single factor yellow face type 2 has some of the yellow extended from the face down to its body. And the single factor golden face actually is almost a green budgie since the yellow degree is too strong that it almost makes your budgie a green one. If you remember, we talked about that in the documentary and how the yellow pigmentation is what makes your budgie's color green. And by the way, having a light yellow color in these white areas does not mean that, for example, a single factor yellow face type 1 is actually a single factor yellow face type 2 when the rest of the body is not affected. So make sure to look at the yellow face color and how the body is affected by the mutation. In this video we can clearly see that the blue on the body is not affected on this bird, which means She's not single factor yellow face type 2, rather she's single factor yellow face type 1. Just be careful not to confuse these little things. So far so good. Yellow face type 1 only on the face. Yellow face type 2, it extends more to your budgie's body. While golden face, which is the strongest, almost covers the whole bird, making it look as if it's green. Now. This might not make any sense to you, but with devil factor it actually reduces the amount of yellow on your budgie and that's because, as we have explained before, these mutations actually remove the yellow pigmentation. So the devil factor yellow face type 1, it even makes the face back to white. Double factor yellow face type 2 
keeps the yellow pigmentation contained in the face instead of spreading to the body, which actually makes it look a lot like yellow face type 1, to the point where it is not even distinguishable between the two. And the same goes with the double factor golden face, it doesn't spread to the body as much as single factor would. I will show you a trick at the end of the video on how to know if a budgie has single factor yellow face type 1 or double factor yellow face type 2 and if you have a normal blue budgie or double factor yellow face type 1. But for that, we need to understand a little bit more about the genetics first and afterwards we will discuss these tricks, so make sure to watch until the end. Now one last time before we continue. Single factor yellow face type 1 Yellow only on the face Single factor yellow face type 2 The yellow pigmentation extends a little bit more to the body and single factor golden face almost makes your budgie looks green due to the amount of yellow pigmentation on its face and body. Now, double factor of each mutation, it reduces the yellow pigmentation one step back. So, double factor yellow face type 1 might not be seen because it reverts the face back to white. Double factor yellow face type 2 reduces the pigmentation from the body back to the face making it indistinguishable from the single factor yellow face type 1. And finally, double factor golden face would look a bit like single factor yellow face type 2. Now let's all agree that the fun part about these mutations are the single factor since these mutations make amazing colors variations in budgies. But since these are actually three different mutations, what if our budgie has both, let's say single factor yellow face type 1 and single factor golden face? Here's the thing, you can think of it as the Eno mutation. If you don't remember, as we have explained in the Eno mutation, which is albino, lutino and cremino budgies, this gene prevents the melanin from working. So there could be a lot of hidden genes that couldn't express themselves. Like, if your budgie is actually blue, you wouldn't be able to tell, as the blue color is secreted from the melanin. And that's why you end up with a white budgie. Or as we call it, albino. The same goes with these three mutations. Think of it this way, golden face cover or overpowers the yellow face type 2. And yellow face type 2 is dominant or stronger than yellow face type 1. And the reason is, if your budgie is golden face, most of its body will be yellow to the point where if someone is not very familiar with budgies, they would think this bird is green. So, if you have a single factor yellow face type 1, you can be sure your bird doesn't have any of the other two mutations. But, if you have a single factor golden face budgie, your budgie might have one of the other yellow face mutations, either type 1 or type 2, that is covered under the golden face mutation. Just like the albino budgie is actually a blue budgie but covered under the Eno gene. These mutations are very important to understand because when we start talking about mixed mutations and we touch on the rainbow budgies, which I know a lot of you are waiting for that video, these mutations play a very important role when trying to breed a rainbow budgie. Now if we go back to the genetical part of this mutation, I believe it is self-explanatory since we discussed each of them what is single factor and what is double factor, so I believe you know how to make the Punnett square for each of these mutations. I'll keep a link for the Punnett square video if you haven't watched it yet. But for the fun of it, let's see the Punnett square of yellow face type 2 and then we'll check what would happen if we bred single factor yellow face type 1 with a single factor golden face budgie, to make sure you understand it perfectly. For the yellow face type 2, let's take two parents that are single factor yellow face type 2. We can see that 25% of the offspring will be normal blue budgies. 50% will be like their parents, single factor yellow face type 2. And 25% will be double factor yellow face type 2. Notice, the other gene is the BL for blue budgie, because the dominant form of these genes are actually the BL of green budgie. And the reason is, as stated before, because these mutations actually remove some of the yellow pigmentation from the original dominant form of green budgie. 
Of course, all three mutations have the same Punnett square, so we don't need to repeat the same process. For the sake of understanding the mutations, I made up the symbols for the Punnett square. But if you actually check in my website for these mutations symbols and type in the table search BL, you will see that all of them have the green BL gene as the dominant form and each have different symbol for which blue we are talking about. The BL1, which I always refer to as BL, is the normal blue we know. And then you see that each has its own symbol. And from these, we can see that any of the mutations can actually occur to green budgie. But since the BL is dominant over all of them, you won't be able to know if your green budgie has these mutations, as they are hidden under the dominance of the green. And it is also important to know that green budgies can only have a single factor from any of these mutations because the other gene would be the dominant BL. But at the end of the video, when I show you some tricks, we will discuss how to know if your green budgie carries any of these mutations. Now, what would happen if we breed single factor yellow face type 1 budgie with a single factor golden face budgie? Don't forget that these are two different mutations, but they can still be put in one Punnett square, unlike other mutations, because these genes are all located in the same place on the locus and act upon the yellow pigmentation of your budgie. Let's put the two parents' genes in the Punnett square. One parent with single factor yellow face type 1, and the other parent single factor golden face, and have a look at the results. We can see that 25% of the offspring will be normal blue budgies, 25% will have single factor yellow face type 1, and half the offspring will express the single factor golden face mutation. But don't forget that half of the golden face budgies will carry the yellow face type 1 mutation as well, but it is hidden or covered under the golden face mutation as we have discussed before. Now for some tricks to know which yellow face is your budgie mutation that I promised you we will discuss at the end of the video. Let's say you have a normal blue budgie. How would you know if it is a really normal or is it actually double factor yellow face type 1? Well, it's easy. If you breed your blue budgie with another blue budgie, then th what will happen is that if your budgie is actually double factor yellow face type 1, then all the offspring will have a single factor yellow face type 1. Of course, unless the other budgie is double factor yellow face type 1, then all the offspring will be the same like the parents and you wouldn't know. So you need to find a blue budgie that you actually know for a fact that it doesn't have any yellow face type 1 genes in it. For example, I do know that my budgie has zero yellow face genes. So if I bring another normal blue budgie, I can easily check if my acquired new budgie has the double factor yellow face type 1. Which basically means if you have two normal blue budgies and all of their offspring has yellow face, that means one of the parents has double factor yellow face type 1 and the other parent doesn't have the genes at all. Now what about if your budgie does have a yellow face only? Is it single factor yellow face type 1 or is it double factor yellow face type 2? Just use the same exact trick. Bring a normal blue budgie that you know for a fact it doesn't have the yellow face genes at all. If the mutation was actually double factor yellow face type 2, then all the offspring will be single factor yellow face type 2. Which means the offspring will have the yellow pigmentation spread to their body and it is easily recognizable. And if the mutation was actually single factor yellow face type 1, then half the offspring will have yellow face and the other half will be normal blue budgies. But you see it doesn't even matter because all you need to look for is budgies with more yellow that spread to the body rather than being contained to the face. And they should all 100% of them be like that. So the second you get a normal or only a yellow faced budgie that is not spread to the body, then that means it is single factor yellow face type 1. And I believe now it is clear as well how to know if your green budgie carries any of these mutations. 
all you need is a blue budgie that doesn't have any of these mutations. And from the Punnett Square video, we know that 50% of the offspring should be blue if your green budgie is heterozygous. Let's say your green budgie has single factor yellow face type 1 gene. Let's see what happens when we pair this green budgie with normal blue budgie. As you can see, half your budgies are going to be green and the other half will be blue single factor yellow face type 1. And so, if your green budgie have any of these mutations, half the offspring, which are the blue budgies, will express the yellow face mutation your budgie has, whatever it may be, if it is single factor yellow face type 1, type 2, or golden face. For more about budgies, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you are watching this video from YouTube and hit the bell icon to get notified when the next video is up. Or like the Facebook page if you are watching this video from Facebook.